Hi there. Today I'm going to talk about the five critical issues about DEX. And every family have a deck. Is your deck safe? After watching this video, please check your deck. The first one is the deck post. The deck post should be six by six, six inches by six inches. I see, uh, I saw some decks is four by four, only three and a half inches by three and a half inches. That's no good. And when you check your deck, look up how it connected to the joist, to the framing. Some of the posts just let the let the framing sit on it and several screws. That's it. That's no good as well. And what we want to see is that you cut your deck and then put the framing parts on here and make a screw so that the bolts can fasten it and it's holding it, holding the weight. So in this way, no matter how heavy the wind, it's not easy to blow off. The most important thing is that the deck post under the ground is sound. You can just grab a longer, bigger screwdriver and you poke the underneath, under the ground, the deck post to see if it's soft or like wood. If it is wood, you cannot go through. If it's soft, it just go through easily. If it's soft, replace it right away. Some post just sitting on the concrete, that's no good. It have to be anchored on the concrete. Another thing about the deck post is that check your downsprout. Some of the downsprout just let the water go right beside the deck post. That's no good. All right. You, you, you let the downsprout go up to two feet, at least two feet away from your foundation, but don't point it to the deck post. All right. That's enough for the post. So let's move on to the ledger board. The ledger board is the board that attach to your house. It holds a lot of weight. You see on the outer side of the deck, you use the post and on the inner side of the deck, you use the ledger board. So it holds the equal weight or even more weight than the post. So the post should be no problem if it's not rotten, but you see a lot of decks collapse because the, the, the points that collapse is the ledger board. The ledger board have to be used the leg bolts or the structure screws. So if, if you see your ledger board only use some nails, some deck screws, that's no good, that's dangerous. Even the ledger, even the leg bolts or the go through bolts, it needs a lot of them. Every city or area have their own codes, please reference to your own area. If you saw your ledger board is not the leg bolt, the bigger ones. You have to fasten it, all right? You have to do it right away. And another thing is that the ledger board on top of the ledger board should have a flashing, the piece of metal, piece of vinyl, or aluminum, whatever. Let the rainwater go out. If there's no flashing, the rainwater will go in between the ledger board and your house framing. So what happens will be, because it's not going to be uh, uh, air circling, it's going to be whole water will be there for a long time and it will be rotten. If the ledger board is rotten, no matter how strong the screw you goes in, it's still going to fall. All right. Two things about ledger board. First one is the fastener. The second one is the rotten. The third one, let's talk about the guard rail. The guard rail have to be withstand 200 pounds from above and from the side. So especially the older ones made of wood. So the two by twos and then the long, the very long guard rail will be very heavy. So you're going to use your hand to shake it. If, if it's very easy to shake, you have to fasten it. Another one you're going to check is the handrail. Some of the deck is pretty low and like four, five, six stairs and there's no handrail. That's no good. You're going to be at least one side have the handrail and also the handrail must must can be grabbed by hand. A lot of handrail is only the two by fours. You, you can grab it, but you cannot like hold yourself, hold the whole weight 
if, if it's emergency it's slippery right you can slip you cannot hold it tight so if you're doing your handrail make sure it can grab by hand just like the handrail on inside your house and then let's talk about the deck board the deck board usually is two by six and uh, some people don't like the two by six because they get gaps and water drip from the top so they want to put some stuff underneath and then they come up with the idea that I put it plywood on top of it and then just uh, use some kind of paint to cover it it can work for several years but after several years you know the plywood somehow absorb water and all the seams will, will crack and water goes in and what happened is that plywood it, it on the deck board it will rotten over time I have been doing several decks because of this and what I recommend is remove the plywood as soon as possible so if you don't do that the plywood will rotten and the deck board will rotten as well and now let's talk about the common issues about the deck board uh, the deck board may be uh, coming up at the end so you can use the screw to fasten it and some board may be rotten that's common and then you just replace the several the partial board or one piece of board completely rotten you can replace only one you don't have to redo it if all the other board is okay and make sure that you're using the deck screw uh, you cannot use the uh, construction screws using indoors because they're gonna be uh, corrosion very quickly you, you will find that a screw will totally eaten up like like just like a needle all right it won't hold the board and next one is the deck load uh, some people put the hot tub on the deck and then it collapse the reason is too heavy all right even you don't have a hot tub but you got like 20 people on the deck they still be very dangerous that deck may fall so you're gonna know that uh, how there's there's no calculation how what's the load of your deck but you can just uh, make sure that uh, not so many people on it you have to limit it the last one I'm gonna talk about is the biggest enemy to the deck is the moisture so especially a deck in the shade and then you, you got you got vegetarian growth on top it on top of it you're gonna make sure that you clean it throughout late using the power washer and then use the the deck paint or stain all right you don't want to let it rotten like like three four years and it's totally done you're gonna redo it so if you redo it you build a new deck you still have to paint it or stain it why not just before it's totally done and you prolong the life of the deck and maybe another 10 years 15 years in my opinion the about five points is the most common and pretty critical issues of the deck please go check your decks hopefully this video is helpful thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe have a good day